Stop pacing around. Be calm and wait. You should try to settle down. Yuna will be blamed if anything happens. We wait here. Well, well, you again. Still traveling with quite the crowd, I see. What is it, Bartello? You know this riffraff? You are... Aaron, no? What of it? Can I shake your hand? Aaron. No, Sir Aaron. You're the reason I became a guardian. <laughs> Thank you, sir. This means so much to me. Calling the personal guardian the Lord Braska Riffraff? And you call yourself a summoner? Yeesh. Bartello, enough! Get back here. Hang in there, buddy. Eh? <laughs> I swear, I'll never wash this hand again. Please, touch me with that hand and I'll remove it. How much longer? She sure is taking her sweet time. We've got places to go. We can't be kept waiting like this. I met Sir Arryn! THE Sir Arryn! I met Sir Arryn! THE Sir Arryn! Stop pacing around. Be calm and wait. Quite the show, yeah? Not so good on the heart, though. You should try to settle down. Yuna will be blamed if anything happens. Sir Oren too? And I hear Maester Seymour is quite taken with you. The world must look different when you're the daughter of Lord Braska. This has nothing to do with my father. I am traveling on my own, as a full-fledged summoner. Oh, is that so? Then try standing on your own two legs for once. Your guardians won't be able to protect you when the time comes.
No matter how dark the night, morning always comes. And our journey begins anew. We're leaving once Yuna gets here. Get ready for the journey ahead. Donna has left. Isaru too. I suppose this is farewell, then. Huh? I'm leaving. Back to Besaid. I can't stay here eating the temple's bread forever. I'm one of the only crusaders still here. You're leaving, I hear. Farewell. I hope we meet again. You're leaving, I hear. Farewell. I hope we meet again. She was working until dawn, healing the wounded, sending the fallen. Okay. I guess I'll just let her sleep for now, then. <sighs> ah. Morning. What? Morning? Don't worry. But it's morning. <sighs> I'm so sorry. I'll get ready right away. Just a moment. Oh, oh. Don't worry. It's okay. Yo, sleepy head. Sorry. I'm so sorry. Please forgive me. Really, there's no rush here. Your hair. <laughs> A summoner with bad hair. What's the world coming to? You could have woken me up. Uh, we called to you, but with all that snoring. Uh, oh! Mmm, what is it today? Everyone's picking on me. <laughs> <laughs> You too, Sir Orin? Once Lady Yuna fixes her hair, we leave. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I hadn't really laughed like that in a long time. It was only later that I realized. The only one really laughing then was me. Laughing must have been the only thing keeping them going. Off so early? Lady Yuna, you must be exhausted after working so hard last night. Will you be okay? <laughs> I feel that I have rested enough, but thank you for your kindness. Will you be leaving too? Yes, 
First we cross the moon flow, and then we head north in search of chocobos to replace those we have lost. Once we find chocobos, our mounted forces will ride again. Huh? Aren't you missing someone? Captain! Wait for me! What took you so long? We're leaving. <sighs> you expect me to keep up with a chocobo? Lady Yuna, I wish you good fortune. Elma, class go. Let's go. Ma'am. Hey, can I just rest a sec? No complaints. Where to next? We cross the moon flow. Gotcha. Moonflow, baby, here we come. Good day, everyone. We can all learn a lesson from what has happened to the Crusaders. Only the truly faithful have a hope of defeating sin. I'm thinking of going to Guado Salam. I have not spoken with a Guado for some time. Summoner Yuna, ready! My turn!
one of Kimari's friends. Looks just like him. What? Both follow summoners on all fours. Hornless goatlings. Hornless! Hornless! <laughs> you come to insult Kimari? Wrong. We come to warn little Kimari. Summoners disappear. Never return. Next will be Kimari's summoner. Poor Kimari. Lost his horn. Next lose his summoner. Pitiful Kimari. Howl alone. Howl alone. <laughs> Do those two uh, got something against you? What? They were just picking on you? Kimari would deal with them. And I'll help. Kimari alone. But uh... it's Kimari's problem. We can't interfere. It's a rule. I'm worried. Let the Ronso deal with Ronso problems, yeah? That's how it's always been. I mean, I'm worried about those summoners disappearing. They aren't just disappearing into thin air. Hey, if we Guardians do our job, no problem, right? Oh. Confident. Yeah. Think of it as training. Go, go, go! I've been saving this one for you!
know you need someone with magic skills. Need a light? Sorry. Training, huh? Ha! Oh, yeah! Allow me. be rusty.
Turn now. Sit back and watch. Might be near.
no problem. Let's end this. This is the Moonflow. These are Moon Lilies. They say that clouds of pyreflies gather here when night falls. The entire river glows like a sea of stars. Really? Hey, I got an idea! We're not waiting till nightfall. Ah. Then, once we beat Sin, we're coming back. Hey, we better hurry or we'll miss the shoe puff. Shoe puff? That's some kind of boat? Hmm. Is a shoe puff. 
Whoa! Uh, let's ride! Come on, let's go! All right, we board soon as we ready, huh? I'll walk her at your service. be saved after my father defeated Sin. Kimari was with me the whole way. Bevel? It's the biggest city in Spira. The main temple of Yevon is there. Biran is troublemaker, but Ronzo do not lie. Summoners disappearing, that was not lie. Right, I'll be careful. Smells like oil. <laughs> Smells like oil. Ten years ago. Ah, a history lesson? Jack saw his first shoe puff here. Surprised, he drew his blade and struck it. What? why he was drunk. Thought it was a fiend. Oh, brother. We offered all the money we had as an apology. Jekt never drank again. But it would seem that shoe puff still works here. Even after ten years, Spira hasn't changed. Truly, the place seems to resist change. It would take something unusual. Bad idea, yes. Please, we beg of you. Impossible! Impossible! What's wrong? This guy won't let our chocobo on the shoe puff. Ah, it is kind of big. It's just not fair. Uh, he does have a point, though. So what? We just leave him behind? Hey, I didn't say that. Just. It is no good. We will have to find another way. 
We will find a ford where we can cross on foot. Yes, Captain Sir. But that'll take days. Where there's a will, there's a way. Oh, boy. That's our captain. Where there's a will, there's a way. Those words stayed with me. I wonder how Captain Lucille is doing. Riding a shoe puff isn't that much fun. How little you know. Some things little boys never grow out of. Right? The merchants here are wily. Pick your shop well. Let the driver know when you're ready. about the wondrous shoe puff? Very well. There are many things we do not know about the shoe puff. For example, what does it eat? It eats nothing. The water it sucks through its schnoz somehow supports its considerable size. Some theorize it eats teeny weeny waterborne organisms. Hmm. And that, as they say, is that. you'd like to hear a bit about the Hypello, hmm? Hmm. The shoe puff handlers belong to a race of water dwellers known as the Hypello. They may be slow on land, but in the water they're quick as silvery fish. You'd think they'd make admirable players of Blitzball. But their lackadaisical disposition draws them to less strenuous pastimes. Hmm. And that, as they say, is that. I believe I've said all there is to say. <laughs> <laughs> 